Hey you guys, how's it going? My name's Jeff. Welcome to the channel and if you've been here before, it's great to have you back. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys about 10 stocks that I've invested in right here at the start of 2024. And one thing that unites all 10 companies is that they're all in the semiconductor space. And this is a sector of the economy that I really didn't know a lot about coming into this year. I would say, you know, I've invested in NVIDIA, which is a semiconductor company. And I, of course, know something about semiconductors, but I don't really know a lot about the companies within this semiconductor industry. So what I've done over the past month is really learn as much as I can about this industry so that I can be a much better investor. Don't claim to be perfect. I don't know everything about this stuff, but I sure as heck know a lot more today than I did a month or two ago. So before we get started, this is not financial advice. In no way am I suggesting that any of these stocks are good investments for anybody watching this, but I wanna tell you about them and maybe it will help give you some ideas as far as a point of departure for your learning. The reason that semiconductors appeal to me is I think that they're like the infrastructure of today's computing world, whether it's electric vehicles or artificial intelligence or anything else, I think a lot of the progress that is going to be coming our way in the future is gonna be involving these kind of semiconductors. So what are they? Well, the first thing you need to know about semiconductors, they have properties that are conducting electricity and that they also have properties that are insulating which are kind of opposites. But these two things work together so that you're able to control the flow of electrons or of power through a system. So if you think about driving a car, you need to be able to control the flow of power. I'm just gonna show you right here actually. I just uh, took this apart today, but I think it's gonna serve as a nice prop as a good example. So this is actually a coffee bean grinder that I've had the last few years but it started working kind of wonky and uh, I couldn't depend on it to, to, it would go on and start grinding coffee beans in the middle of the night with me not even in the room. And it would just go on and off at random times. So I decided to get another one and I threw this away. It was in the trash and then I thought, wait a second, I'll bet you it has some integrated circuits in it which are made of semiconductors, which it does back here. So as just a really quick kind of lesson, and again, this is from me who knew nothing about this a while back. So you have power that goes into a bean grinder like this, but you need to control the power going into it. You have to decide like how much power goes into the grinder. There's a grinder at the top. You can see it's got a little thing that comes out here and there's a blade in there. So how much power, how long does the power go and run the motor? There's a motor right there is the motor for this bean grinder. And so you have power coming in and you have to regulate it. And that's what these integrated circuits, which are made of semiconductors do. So although this is just grinding coffee beans, right? If you think about a car, any car, it doesn't have to be an electric vehicle. They have many of these integrated circuits, which are semiconductors. They might have 10, 15, 20, 50 in a car, and today's electric vehicles have even more. And these could be everything from like the electric seat moving back and forth, like running an infotainment system, or your navigation, or your cruise control, or whatever. And then when you think of like these kind of the Teslas and the Rivians and the electric vehicles that have autonomous driving controls, now you're talking about sensing where the car is in front of you and automatically braking. So that's all semiconductor chips. And this whole industry is enormous. Like it will make your head explode. The first company on the list here is called Excellus Technologies. And you can see the ticker symbol is ACLS. And Excellus, they create capital equipment for the semiconductor industry. So what they're basically doing is you know, like the picks and the shovels that were sold to people who were going out to dig for gold. Well, this company, Excellus, makes machines that semiconductor fabrication companies need in order to implant an ion onto the semiconductor chip. So this is a very small step, but it's crucial. And these, this company, Excellus, they're based in Beverly, Massachusetts in the United States, 
they make these ion implanting machines. They're very profitable, this company is. And you know, I took a good look at their balance sheet, at their assets and their liabilities. They seem to be in very strong financial health. And it was just a company that appealed to me. So that's the first stock that I bought. The second stock that I bought is called Allegro Microsystems, and the ticker symbol for that is ALGM. And what they do is they're a manufacturer of sensor and power chips. And um, a lot of their chips um, precisely measure motion and speed and position and current of electricity going through a system. And one of the one of their major, major kind of focuses is electric vehicles. And so all these electric vehicles need to control and sense and control speed and position. And that's what these chips do. And they're very, very small chips, you know. Uh, the company, uh, Allegro Microsystems, they're based in Manchester, New Hampshire, a profitable company. They're actually a part of a uh, Japanese company no, named Sankin, and Sankin spun off this company several years ago. They still own a lot of it, but it's publicly traded, um, and I just it appealed to me a lot because they are heavily invested in silicon carbide chips, which are a very specific kind of chip. They're more expensive, and they're much faster and more efficient than some of the older kind of chips. It's funny to think that silicon chips are kind of old technology, but Silicon has been around for a long time. Silicon carbide, um, faster, more efficient, and they're very valuable in electric vehicles. So that is why uh, Allegro Microsystems appealed to me as an investment. Now the third company I invested in is Aspen Aerogels, ASPN, that is their ticker. Now this is not a semiconductor company, but I kind of learned about it while I was doing my research on these semiconductor stocks. And it actually relates to electric vehicles, which is why I've included it in this portfolio. But what they do is they design and develop and manufacture aerogel insulation. Um, if you want to think of this, it's really, it's really amazing. It's very lightweight and it also is an incredible insulator. So I saw a demonstration on YouTube where what they did was they put a sheet of this, it's very, very thin, it's like you know the width of this phone, maybe a little bit thicker. And they put a chocolate like Easter bunny on top and they put a flame underneath it. And they were able to run the flame underneath the Easter bunny, the chocolate bunny, and it didn't melt for like a long time because this is just a super insulator. So these are used in building materials. Um, for example, you may have pipes carrying like water through a building or other chemicals through a factory and you wanna keep them either really cold or really hot and you don't want the heat or the cold to escape. So you can wrap these pipes in this aerogel insulation. And in electric vehicles, what they use this for is a lot of times the batteries get really warm. They can get hot during operation of the car. So what they can do is put this aerogel insulation in between the battery and the passenger compartment, keeps the people who are riding nice and cool. And so anyways, this is just seems to be a very well-run, profitable company. They're based in Northborough, Massachusetts. And uh, yeah, it made it into the portfolio and I am an investor. So the fourth company that made it into my portfolio is Camtech, C-A-M-T, and they're a Israeli company. They specialize in inspection and metrology equipment for the semiconductor industry. And what that means, uh, metrology is just the science of measurement, and inspection is a really key part of making semiconductors. Basically, there are so many things that can go wrong and screw up a semiconductor chip. And since it's a very expensive and time intensive process, you don't want any mistakes when you're making a semiconductor chip. So there are a lot of companies out there and they have specialties. And for Camtex, it's, you know, they, they sell these um, equipment for metrology inspection to all different parts of the semiconductor industry. So if you were a fabricator of semiconductors, you would buy a unit, you'd buy this capital equipment from Camtech, 
and then that would help you with your inspection and metrology. And that leads us to the next company, which is Nova Limited, NVMI. And you want, might wonder, what's the MI for? Well, this company used to be called Nova Measuring Instruments, uh, and they just changed the name to Nova Limited, but the ticker still has the MI for Measuring Instruments. And that is their specialty, although um, metrology is kind of how they promote themselves. Uh, the inspection, the, the research I did, they're not as heavy on the inspection side of things as, say, Camtech, but Nova seems to be all about metrology solutions for the semiconductor manufacturing industry. They're also located in Israel. Um, both Nova and uh, Camtech are small cap companies. I think they're about $3 billion in market cap, each of them, at least at the time I made this video. But, you know, stock prices fluctuate and that will affect the market cap. But they're both about the same size company and based in the same part of the world, Israel. All right, the next company that I invested in is On Semiconductor. Uh, it's referred to a lot as On Semi, and the ticker symbol is ON. And this company is heavily invested in silicon carbide chips. And, you know, that, as I mentioned a little earlier, those are the chips that are kind of on the forefront of innovation as far as the automotive industry goes, especially electric vehicles. So the way I see this, investing in on semi is really investing in the future of electric vehicles and any kind of power and sensing chips that are gonna be going into any kind of vehicles. But, um, you know, I just want you to know about this company. They uh, make integrated circuits for a lot of other companies, so it's not just automotive but it seems like they are very well positioned. And I just see this as a way to invest in part of uh, the infrastructure of the automotive industry and also kind of the leading edge with silicon carbide chips. The next company I invested in is Onto Innovation and the ticker symbol is O-N-T-O. And they, decide, they design and they manufacture and they, you know, develop kind of process control systems for uh, large semiconductor companies. And what they do basically is metrology and defect inspection, kind of like what I was talking about with Camtech. Uh, but they're based in the United States. Wilmington, Massachusetts is where their headquarters are. And uh, they just make these process systems. So if you're a semiconductor fab company and you have a huge factory making this stuff, you need some way to make sure that every step of the way, your semis are being perfect, there's no defect in them, and you can measure all aspects of your whole process. And so that's what Onto Innovation specializes in. And then the next stock is Photronics. And Photronics, they're based, um, the ticker symbol is P-Lab, and I think that's for Photronics Laboratories, P-Lab. It's a funny ticker symbol, I think, PLAB. Lab. Um, they're based in Brookfield, Connecticut. Their specialty is photo masks. And so these are quartz or glass plates with microscopic images of electronic circuits on them. And they're used to make electronic circuits and flat panel displays. So it's very specific, but they seem to be one of the best at photo masks. Uh, another small company, as you've noticed, a lot of the companies in this portfolio are small cap companies, not all of them. For example, On Semiconductor is a pretty big company, but, but Photronics is a very small company. And like I said, um, microscopic images of electronic circuits, they're called photo masks and they're used in integrated circuits and flat panel displays. Now the next company here is real different from the others. It's called Synopsys, and uh, it's not a small cap company. It's actually one of the larger players in what's called EDA, Electronic Device Automation. And what they do is, you know, in the old days, engineers would design chips, would design integrated circuits, and they would use something called CAD, which would help them to use computers. Um, but today's circuits are so complex and so small that you could have like a whole room full of mechanical engineers or electronic engineers, I guess, and they would not be able to design these circuits fast enough and effectively enough. So it's all done electronically using these electronic 
design automation software. That is what Synopsys is really well known for. They seem to be kind of tops in the field. There are other companies that do a great job, but they seem to be just kind of the leading edge. They also offer intellectual property to a lot of their customers so that companies can buy the IP to use their technologies in their own uh, semiconductor manufacturing. So that's why Synopsys made it into this portfolio. It's a, a larger company than a lot of the others, but they just seem like very solid. And so, you know, there's probably gonna be a little bit less volatility, in my opinion, in owning this particular name than some of the tiny companies in this portfolio. But um, I like owning a great company that has a nice reputation and uh, really solid management and Synopsys fits the bill for that. And that leads us to our last company and that is called ST Microelectronics, STM. And STM is based in Geneva, Switzerland. And I like them also because one of their focuses of their efforts right now is silicon carbide chips. And they make a lot of other stuff, but silicon carbide is something they're really focusing on, especially uh, as it relates to the automotive industry. They develop and they manufacture integrated circuits, which are just taking that semiconductor raw material and making something very specific that, that takes on a certain task and can complete a task. Um, but yeah, silicon carbide in the automotive industry is the main reason I've chosen this company. Um, also the, the cost of the stock, the price to earnings seems kind of low. And of course, I think that is reflecting the perceived lack of demand in the automotive industry, say for the next couple of quarters, but I really don't mind it if uh, the stock price is a little bit low and the price earnings is low um, because people are a little bit skeptical about investing in anything related to cars when there might be a slowdown in buying cars. But that doesn't bother me because I'm going to hold these stocks uh, you know, for a long time and it doesn't matter to me. I actually like it if other people are not buying this hand over fist because it keeps the price down so I can buy more. Uh, so anyways, yes, uh, STM Microelectronics, ST Microelectronics, STM is the ticker symbol, uh, designs, develops, and manufactures integrated circuits for lots of different companies, but specifically the automotive industry. And I'm going to show you another prop here, and this is something that I just found the other day because I had an espresso machine. I know earlier I showed you a coffee grinder. This is from an espresso machine that I had that stopped working. It was it's actually made in Switzerland by a company called Jura, spelled J-U-R-A, but this is a circuit board and on top of this board, this is the back of it, on top of this board are all of these controllers and circuits that do different things and it grinds the coffee bean, it heats water and it forces the hot water under pressure through the coffee grounds and it does all these different things. Well, that's semiconductors, that's microchips that are in that machine that actually control the electricity and the power through the whole system. So this here is the circuit board from my espresso machine. What I wanna show you here is that I looked closely right here at these two things here and I know you can't read it, but ST Microelectronics, their logo is on those two and this one right here. That one right there and those two right there are ST Microelectronics. So what I found, and this was, I wouldn't have known about this, you know, a month or two ago, I didn't know about this company being involved in microchips and all that they do. But now I can see that even in a coffee machine, they're selling stuff integrated circuits to companies like this. And this is just random that I happen to have some. I'd always wanted to have a microchip, <laughs> but I didn't know where they were. So now I have some actual ST microchips right here in this uh, piece of my espresso machine. But now I can tell you when I say, hey, I just invested in this stock for the first time in my life on January 2nd, 2024, well, it makes that little chip, but it also makes chips that are going into high performance vehicles, sensing things and using cameras and uh, electric vehicles and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I just think that this is a uh, really, really fascinating stuff. 
and I just wanted to share it with you. My plan for this year is each month, uh, the first of the month, I'm going to buy some shares of one of these 10 stocks. That is my video for you for today. Um, do you have any questions about any of these 10 stocks? Are you even an investor in semi stocks? I imagine a lot of people watching this might not be invested in you know this sector specifically. Um, and if you are an investor, I'd be real interested in you know, what companies appeal to you. So put any comments or ideas that you have in the comment section below. Uh, if you're an investor, thanks for being part of this channel. And if you are watching this and you're not yet an investor, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and also the bell for notifications. And that way you'll get a heads up when I make a new video. So, so glad you're joining me and I will see you in the next video.